biggest one of the day right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That water is cold. Oh, that water is real cold. Huh? Goodness. Well, as you can tell, I didn't go home like I was talking about. So early in the day that I decided to just hydrate in the car, drink the Gatorade and the water that I brought, and then stop at another crossing actually on my way home try to catch a few fish here. I've actually never fished this little section of the river before. So, kind of a new little adventure for me actually. This is looking more like that other section. Oop. There we go. Wow. Nice. Wow, this fish is fighting hard too. For how small he is. Not that big of a fish. <laughs> I was just saying, now it's starting to look like that other section with this grass and stuff in the water. And that fish came out of the shallow, shallow water right there to eat it. Like I said, not very big, but on a day like today, on a time like right now, when we're in super ultra flood conditions, or flood. The exact opposite drought conditions i will definitely take a healthy dude like that smashing it up in the shallows that was cool i was just getting ready to say or i was in the middle of saying actually about how this area is starting to look like that other section of the river that's good and just as i was saying that boom got a bite Again, on that weightless lizard, too, they just come over and smash that thing. Oop. Fish ran out there to eat it. I think he... That was weird. Like he bumped it with his mouth closed. Oh, he's still chasing it down. Oop, oop, oop. Got him. Got him. That was freaking cool. <laughs> wow. It's a good fish too. Wow. He followed it down again and ate it right there in front of me. Oh, he's wallowing a big old hole in his lip. Come on. Don't come off of there. There we go. All right. I thought I saw him wallowing a hole in his lip. I guess not. Been caught before at some point a long time ago. Got a wound that healed there. He wanted that Cinco today. He's chasing it down hardcore. Like I said, he, he bumped it out there. I think maybe with his mouth closed even. And he just kept working it and he followed it down again. Came over and slurped it up off the bottom. Chunky little sucker. That's a that's the healthiest one we've caught today by far. Thank you, buddy. That was cool. right over to it and ate it. Golly, strong fish too. My goodness. Strong, strong fish. Actually a little better than I thought too. Oh, come on. All right. Decent little bass right there again. This fish just ran up there and slurped it like he was supposed to. Like he was eating something alive. He was fully convinced. Nice, healthy fish. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. Oh, nice. That was sweet. Wow. 
think it's a good fish too. A decent one. Oh yeah. Golly. Hung up in some grass. Popped off the grass. And this sucker ran over there. And smashed it like a top water. That was sweet. That was really sweet. Decent little fish too. Thick sucker. Got a scar right there on his back. He gashed by something when he was younger. God, that was freaking cool though. Come up and smash that Senko like a top water. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. Decent bass right there. Real shallow. Yep, running in my gate. Oh, golly. Oh no! You break my line? No, it just took my worm somehow. I think it was a different fish too. That was weird. A bunch of little ones came up and started nibbling on it. Just trying to shake it out of their mouth and another one came up and ate it. A bigger one, but I don't even think it was the original one I saw. There's two of them coming back in here. I'm not sure which one it was I originally saw now. But anyway, there's two bass right here. Oh, it looks like a decent one. Oh, oh, yep, oh, dang it, what happened there, oh, the better one ate it, I think I still see the fish up here too, yeah, he's still chilling right there, oh, turn towards it, nipped at it, but I think he missed it, oh, and another one right out of nowhere and ate it again nice wow this has been a cool little corner right here oh, wow that sucker ran up out of nowhere and ate it again while i was looking at another one and that is not a bad little fish I'm catching me a mess a little two pounders today got a big head a little bit of a skinny body actually but goodness that was cool thank you oh wow now that I look at this it makes me wonder I think I was on a little side creek right there the whole time I'm not sure I was even on the main river Oops, fish yep Wow, talking about where I'm at, trying to figure out exactly where, I, where I've been fishing. <laughs> and this fish just took off that Cinco. And it is another decent one. Goodness gracious. Bunch of solid fish today. Another good fish. No giants, but... There's lots of solid ones. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. Fish, yep. Well, there's one up in here at least. Strong sucker. Not a terrible fish actually. I think that's a keeper. 14, 15 inch fish about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's 14 for sure. Probably more like 15 inch fish. Thank you, buddy. That was cool. <laughs> Saw that fish run out and eat it. Wow, wow, wow. What a fun day I'm having here. Turned out to be real fun. Had a little bit of fun over at that other spot. 
I came over here and had a bunch of fun. Goodness. Another solid fish. Switched it off of that grass over there again and I saw him just run out there and munch on it. Another solid one. Thank you. out of nowhere twitched it a couple times and he ate it <laughs> actually <laughs> not a bad fish again there goes another one out there a little bit smaller than this guy golly that is another decent fish a little bit smaller than average from today but still pretty decent Ran up out of nowhere and ate it again. Thank you, buddy. Stopped to take a little break here and a few guys just passed me walking the river, so I guess I've been fishing behind people the whole day too because I saw a truck over there where I was parked, so I guess they're the ones that had got in and got here before me, so I guess I'm fishing behind these guys. I'm still having a heck of a day here. Ooh, nice bass. Yep. Got him. Wow. Gee whiz. Another one that just ran up out of nowhere. He came from across the river to eat it. This was right where those guys just were too, by the way. Right where I was just saying those guys walked past me. They were just fishing this pool. And they didn't catch a fish that I saw. But golly, this is the best one of the day, I think. This is a strong fish. Strong, strong fish. Oh yeah, golly. That is a freaking nice one there. is a healthy thick just nice fish there like i said i believe that's the best one of the day i think this weighs more than that skinny one i caught over at that other spot but i don't know they're pretty close man that is a really really nice bass like i said i cast over here towards the shallow side and he ran from the other side of the river to eat it too he was not shy at all Wow, wow, wow. What a day. Thank you for that, buddy. A bass. I was looking at my worm and then he stopped for whatever reason. <laughs> Spooked away from the bait hard there. Wonder if he's already been caught today or what. Like I said, this is the direction those guys came from, so probably been fishing behind somebody all day <laughs> but I've had a darn good day for fishing behind somebody if I was I've had a darn good day either way but I've had an incredible day if that's behind three people anyway I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and I uh, gotta decide what bait I'm gonna put on here Trying to choose between a buzz bait, a buzz and toad, or a popper, or actually even a walking frog is another uh, another good topwater choice for this kind of water. I'm gonna go with this little buzz bait right here. This looks like a little minnow. It's got a buzz bait blade, so it buzzes on top. So I was wanting was something to cause some topwater commotion. Only problem is with this bait, with this specific buzz bait, you can't really put a can't really put a trailer hook on there like I'd like to, because it'll mess with that tail action. But hopefully, I don't miss any short strikers because of it. Yeah, 
I'd like to have a frog tied on that I can throw right over the top of this stuff. Man. I'm just so worried about hooking them though. Although, I'm pretty worried about hooking them on this buzz bait now, too, actually. Got two bites on it now, and two the hookies are one of them. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, wow. I was just about to say, I think I'm going to put on some sort of popping frog. Actually, instead of a buzzing frog or a buzzing toad or a buzz bait or anything that buzzes. But, then that little dude <laughs> absolutely crushed it up there. Golly, that little booger gave all he had coming up to eat that buzz bait. That was a nice, very nice blow up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, again, just a little guy, but gosh, he wanted that buzz bait bad, came up and smashed it, and swallowed it, so I want a big one to get it if he's going to come up and eat it, just like that, thank you, that was cool, oh man, he's beat up, got some scars, and missing some of his fin, I just can't help but wonder though what would happen with a frog dancing under there instead of this buzz bait just buzzing right through yeah I'm gonna switch over to a little walking frog too there's so much overhanging trees and stuff here that I just want to throw to little uh, booyah pad crasher junior Try and get some of these fish. They're trying to be a little finicky. Oh, golly. <laughs> First cast, had one blow up on it and it looked like a decent fish too. Completely missed it though. Never took the frog under the water at all. Oh, come on. Come off of there. Am I really gonna have to retie? right away yes i am golly <sighs> just gonna have to tie on another one of my frogs don't have another junior i wanted a junior frog but don't have another junior so i guess i'm tying on this one full size uh pad crasher i guess is what i'm gonna be throwing now now that I jacked up my junior like that, golly, I can't believe I did that. Oh no. Through all sorts of trees there. Oh! Oh my god! All sorts of trees there. Oh! All sorts of trees there. Oh, oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Are you kidding me? I was hung up on that branch and this big fish came and just smashed it. <laughs> Took it off of the tree while it was hung up. Wow. I don't think I've ever had that actually happen to me before. I've seen it happen. I've been in the boat when it happened, but I've never had that happen to me before. Wow. That, like I said, is a very nice fish. God, solid fish. So thick. And he absolutely smashed this frog while it was hung up on that stick in there. I can't believe 
That really just happened to me. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I put this frog on. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. This was one of my favorite fish <laughs> of all time, probably. Oh my gosh. Golly, and I was all worried about sticking him on this mono. He was never coming off of the way, the way he stuck. There we go. Wowza. That was amazing. Thank you for that fun, fun time, man. Wow, wow, wow. Go back in there and live. <laughs> That's incredible. If you don't just love that, if that doesn't get your heart pounding a million miles an hour, you ain't living, man. Oh no. Dang it. Fish ate it before I could even do anything to it. As soon as it hit the water, I was still trying to reel up my slack. Golly. <laughs> that was awesome. He destroyed that frog again. Swallowed it. Ooh. A Guadalupe. I believe that's the first Guadalupe bass I've caught on a frog. <laughs> that sucker was very accurate too. He got his little mouth, that little mouth, and swallowed that frog all the way down. Nice. Jeez. That was cool. Well, it's getting to be almost seven o'clock. So this is turning into a 12 hour day. It was gonna be just a quick little, quick little solo trip when I first got here, but turned into an all day affair, but I'm glad it did because I sure had a good, good time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the snake come after my frog from across the river. No, thank you on that one. I don't want to catch you, little buddy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He completely missed the frog. Oh no. Oh my goodness, that was a heck of a blow up there. I saw my frog the whole time though, so he never took it under. He missed the entire bait. Oh my gosh, what a blow up that was. Now I'm thinking about putting on, I have a walking bait, walking hard bait. Little uh, Strike King Sexy Dog. I wonder if I should put that on. I got some more open water now here where I don't really have to throw this frog amongst a bunch of grass and stuff. And if they come up and eat that sexy dog, they should get hooked every time with all those treble hooks. Got a couple short strikes now here on this frog, so I'm wondering if I should do that. Oh. <laughs> well. Maybe not. Jeez. Maybe not. Jeez. Biggest one of the day right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Big fish. Swallowed that frog too. It is gone. Down his throat. It is gone. Oh my goodness, this is a big fish. I guess I'm not switching lures at all. Come on, dude. Come on, dude, open your mouth. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit skinny, but go oh, look at the head on that thing. That's at least a four pounder. Maybe a little more, he's heavy. My goodness. <laughs> wow.
wow 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 what a freaking day this has turned into this is insane that fish smashed that frog right when i was talking about switching and absolutely inhaled it look at that down the throat stick my hand all the way in his big mouth to get it out of there too with plenty of room look at that easily fit a fist in his mouth goodness that is a nice one there like i said at least four maybe a little more a little skinny but god big old head on that sucker all right dude you go on with your bad self Jeez. oh my goodness what a day